Hey guys, thinking about upgrading your internet and stuck between Starlink satellite and fiber optic broadband? In this video, we'll compare them side by side, speed, latency, reliability, cost, and who each is really for. Let us break it down. Okay guys, so first up are the basics. Now, Starlink powered by SpaceX is a low earth orbit satellite internet service. It beams internet down from satellites in space directly to a dish at your home. Uh, fiber optic on the other hand is a ground-based system it sends data through fiber optic cables using lights giving incredibly fast and stable speeds but only where it's physically installed all right now let's talk performance starling currently offers speeds around 10 to 250 megabytes with latency between 25 and 60 ms that's great for streaming video calls and even casual gaming but fiber outshines here you can get gigabit speeds up to one gigabit or even two gigs and as you can also see, uh, the uh, Google Fiber offers 8 gigs, which is insane, with latency often below 10 milliseconds. If you're into competitive gaming, video editing, or uploading large files, Fiber is the clear winner. So when it comes to reliability, Fiber is rock solid unless there's a line break or power outage. It's unaffected by weather and delivers consistent speeds. Starlink, while improving rapidly, is still impacted by heavy rain, snow or satellite congestion. However, its real strength is availability. If you're in a rural or remote area where fiber isn't offered, Starlink may be your only high-speed option. So in terms of the uh, tools and installation, Starlink requires a self-installation kit with a satellite dish. It's easy to set up but needs a clear view of the sky. The trees and buildings can block signal. Fiber installation is more complex and may take weeks especially if your home doesn't already have fiber lines. But once set up, it's plug and play with minimal maintenance. Right, and also now let us discuss the pricing. Starlink costs at uh, 120 a month, plus a $599 equipment fee. There's no data cap, but no uh, cheaper plans yet. Fiber varies by provider. Many offer 50 to 80 uh, dollars monthly plans for 500 megabytes a second or gigabit speeds some even bundle it with tv or phone services it's usually cheaper over time if it's available in your area right so which one is for you so choose fiber if you live in a serviceable area it's faster cheaper and more reliable and choose starlink if you're off the grid on the countryside or anywhere without good broadband access it's a game changer where fiber can't reach so in the battle of Starlink versus fiber optic, it all comes down to location and needs. If fiber is an option, go for it. But if not, Starlink is the next best thing. Thank you for watching guys. If you found this review helpful and comparison, uh, hit like and subscribe for more internet and tech reviews. And also guys, don't forget to press on that notification bell to not miss our new fresh uploads.